Hi, welcome back to getting started with Ionic 2 and Parse Server. In this video, we are going to learn what is Parse and more specifically, what is Parse Server. For many years, web and mobile app developers are using Parse as the backend for their applications. They use Parse to store the data of their applications on a secure, reliable storage somewhere in the cloud. But recently, Parse announced that they are going to discontinue their services from January 2017. But the amazing folks at Parse announced all of their server code as open source. So now you can deploy your own Parse server on your own machine. And that is what we are going to do in this course. So Parse server is an instance of the Parse service that Parse used to offer on Parse.com but on your own self-hosted server. So all your application data will be stored on your own server which you can access using the REST API that Parse server offers or using the Parse SDKs. In this course, we'll be using the REST API, but I'll also introduce you to the Parse SDK in case you want to use that. So this was Parse. Throughout the development of our application, we'll be using Parse server as the backend and we'll store all the data of our application on our own Parse server. So from the next video onwards, we'll get to work and we'll install the required dependencies that we need to get started with the development of an Ionic application.